So today with this Hyping Tech podcast, we're going to have a look at a few articles for you today, looking at major graphics card brands ranked worst to best, five great car features, Father's Day is around the corner, gift ideas, we're going to check that out today, so stay tuned, five ways to watch live TV on your iPoop, Street Fighter 6, what? Do you remember Street Fighter? And Duck Hunt, someone robbed a convenience store with Duck Hunt. Without further ado, let's have a look at number one. Do you remember graphics cards? Which graphics card do you use? I've looked at 12 here, ranked worst to best. Which one do you think is number one? Number 12 is XFX. Do you remember these cards? Nvidia number 11. 10 is Sapphire graphics card. AMD is number nine, the 5000, 6000 series. Power Color is number eight, which is AMD Radeon series, as well as Zoltac. I use Zoltac in one of my other PCs and it's doing okay. AS Rock Phantom Gaming, mate. AMD again. It seems to be just AMD or, you know, that's the only two options really. Uh, NO3D, EVGA. That was like, everybody used to go on about those. Which one do you use? Gigabit. And how much do you pay for your graphics card? MSI. Guess what number one is? <laughs> of course, Asus, mate. Did you know that? Did you get that right? Asus is a bit of a beauty. Many people like Asus. But okay. Oh, 12 things consider before buying a gaming PC. That's enticing. That was not planned, but what do you what do you think about when you buy a PC? Building versus buying a gaming PC. If you're building it, it's better, I think. But you need a bit a little bit of know-how. It's not that bad, because loads of people that do it. It will cost a little bit more if you're making it yourself. Processor CPU you buy. You buy your fan, you buy your storage, you buy your RAM, you buy your graphics card, you buy your motherboard, you buy your case. Everything is going to be to your choice. And you can individually upgrade as you go along because you built it, you know what needs changing if you need to. Audio peripherals, all sorts of stuff, but it can get expensive. Not bad. Five great car features that completely disappear. Shall we look at that next? So car features are basically unique because things work, things don't work. So it's not always going to be the case that you're going to get like great features. Let's see what's on this list. T-tops. Oh yeah. MR2 T-top. Remember that? Uh, tape and CD players. People put their phones in those these days. Pop-up headlights. Full-size spare tire. No way, mate. That's, you're lucky if you get a spare tire these days because they put like an inflatable gas thing in there, don't they? Like a repair kit. Wood ornaments. Yeah, people used to nick those. Uh, 15 defunct car brands we wish still existed. Oh my God, DMC. Back to the feature car. Okay, this is this an excellent. It was a slash gear. Okay, let's go from the top again. I like this one. So five great car features. If you're from the golden age of cars, then this is going to be right up your street. Did you know that there was some completely wicked, awesome car features? Are you a bit of a car guy? Five great features that don't really exist anymore. T-tops, MR2, remember that? T-top, sunroof, tape and CD players. People whack their iPhones in those these days. Pop-up headlights. Oh my God. Remember they used to mess up and one used to open up. It looks like you blink in your car. What was that on? Mazdas, I think, had used to have that. Full-size spare tires, no longer. You don't get those, mate. You're lucky if you get a tire. Hood ornaments, people nicked those. And, oh, defunct car brands. DMC, Back to the Future. Holy moly, mate. That is next level and completely next. Okay, in time force, styling force, radiators were concealed. This is basically, you see, Mercedes, they used to have the big thing on the, the hood. That's That's the main one that I remember. Ooh. But yeah, I think overall, you can still get some of these. If you buy classic cars, you're, you're sorted, aren't you? You don't have to like, I don't think you'll have to worry about it. What we got next? Father's Days, around the corner, mate. Father's Days, around the corner. Have you got yourself sorted out? Here's some ideas if you're thinking about some gifts. So the Verge article is giving me a few ideas here, which look very interesting. Okay. So, so far out of all of these, what does anything stick out to me? Watch maybe I'll think about it. Phone, not big fan case. Mm, jacket, now nah, don't get clothes, mate. Come on. 21st century. Is it? What, what? 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 Okay. Polar elevated camera cooler. Anchor powerhouse, maybe. Batteries are important. Earbuds. Ooh. Simpsons arcade. What? That, that's what you want to get, mate. Come on. That's like a fun gift. Make them feel like they're young again. Uh, I need to check where that is. GameStop, is it? Can I open that? Can I check that? That is like the ultimate Father's Day gift, isn't it? Ah, oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Get out of my... I hate you when these... Like, okay, one button is enough. Okay. Arcade. 699. Whack it. That's what you want to get. Just, just buy it. That is 
like one of the, the ultimates of the ultimates. I bet there's some more on here. Let me have a look at some of the ones. What else we got? Simpsons Arcade. Uh, Father's Day gift is where you want to be with that. Bam. Oh, what else? What else? Okay, so there, we got a Jabra Elite, which is like a bit of a thing. Uh, is there anything interesting here? Axe. Axe. Yeah, you just get him Axe, mate. Lumberjack. What's this? Elgato. Don't bother with Elgato. It's a bag of... Yeah. Mars has just been glitching out. Oh, Wordle, the party game. Is that like a... That's online, isn't it? Okay, there's a good few ideas for you. Simpsons Arcade. Absolutely, positively perfect. Five ways to watch live TV on your iPhone. Have you ever considered watching... TV on your iPhone. You ever thought about watching TV on your iPhone? Here's a quick article to tell us how you can do it. Live TV streamers. So it's like property. Do you, if you're in the UK, you're, I'm assuming you need to have a TV license in order to do this. So make sure you pay for the TV license. Hybrid streamers. So you can get like Hulu. But that's not really TV, is it? Peacock, Pluto TV, Apple TV. Oh, come on, man. Slash gear. That was ah. Oh, I was hoping for like a, a way I could just watch it without ah. Oh, like old days, you know, the portable TV little things you used to get. Let me down. Let me down. Watch TV on your iPhone. Yeah, these are all things that people know anyway. I think I was hoping for like a, a enticing way of being able to watch a TV without any like sticker coat hanger in your your phone uh, area or something. I was thinking along those lines, but these guys are next level as. They're just telling us about apps that are just available, which is like, okay. Interestingly enough. What else we got today? Let's have a quick look at the next one. Do you remember Street Fighter? Street Fighter used to be a thing. Six gets the right vibe. Okay. So this is like a new version of an old game, I'm assuming. There's a reason Street Fighter special moves have lived on. They're easy to learn, but they require practice to pull off consistently. Get good enough though and they start to fall like an extension of yourself you can just work out special moves when is this new one coming out oh my god that looks that looks quite good it's like proper 3d are you a bit of a I was, street fighter i was gonna say star wars there what you lost it mate <clears throat> street fighter 6 is where it's at street fighter 6 you ready for that I wonder what console is it going to be on? Well, you don't need a console, do you? You're just going to get it on... Uh, uh, you stand it on your phone. I think. Maybe. Or not. That thing. Okay. 6 is sorted. What else we got? A couple more. Oh yeah, this is a fun one to end on. Just as a roundup. Duck Hunt Gun to Rob. Man alleged used a Nintendo... Alleged used a Nintendo is be a nice title for that. Okay, so let's go from the, the top around here. Did you know someone tried to whack out a store, a convenience store, with Duck Hunt Gun? So what's this about? Police have arrested a South Carolina man after he alleged robbed a convenience store armed with a Nintendo light gun preliminary used in 1980s to play Duck Hunt. Hogan's ally and gun shoot as original. Ah, oh, so you use that gun. The one you used to. You remember in the game, they used to have that little gun that you plug into your Nintendo. Shh. I'm sure that. Well, it depends who was in the store. Because if they were younger generation, they probably don't know what that gun was. Probably looked like a, a ray gun toy. Okay, I wonder. Did he succeed? Or did he get it? While police arrested. Alleged the suspect waved the fake gun at the clerk and demanded money from the cash register. Author authorities found him down the street in a dollar convenience store parking lot. With the fake pistol in his pants. Oh my days, mate. What is going on? Rob, Rob, Rob. Okay, one more? No, I think that's that's it for today. That's your roundup. Thank you for joining me on the Hyping Tech Podcast episode today. Quick little roundup of the news. I'll see you on the next episode.